Welcome back fellow geeks. Now in today's episode I want to talk about something that can really impact your health and if you like printing useful prints this is something that can really come in handy farther down the line as you start printing flatware and cups. Now everybody knows the basic filaments. You have your basic ABS, your PLA, your PET G, and then you have some other little filaments along the line like your dissolvables, you have your hips, but one filament that a lot of people don't talk about or you don't see many people using on different forums is FDA approved filaments. Now, I found one of the reasons why a lot of people don't talk about this is it is relatively new, but a lot of people do not know what FDA approved filaments are or they don't understand the standard that the FDA has put out. And that's what we want to talk about today. Now, there's nothing wrong with using your basic ABS or PLA filaments, and I use them every single day. But, if you want to get into making useful prints such as flatware, like forks, knives, plates, or even bowls, or cups, it's really something you're going to want to invest in. And, one of the first steps and beginning points that I would look into this is getting a stainless steel nozzle for your printer. And that's something that can really help you out and save your health in the long run as most of the consumer nozzles that come on these consumer printers are made out of brass and can contain traces of lead which can make you sick. Now they don't necessarily contain very high traces that after one print you'll be sick to your stomach and have to go to the doctor but if it's something you continue to do you can get really sick from doing so. And that's something I would really recommend looking into as a lot of different companies such as Micro Swiss offer stainless steel nozzles which are very easy to replace on most machines. I, I know on the Robo 3D all this is a quick release the hot end falls out and you just use the wrench that's supplied and it comes right off. But some other ones you're gonna have to check different forms and possibly different YouTube videos on how to remove your nozzle which is mostly fairly easy. Now the second step I would recommend is looking into FDA approved filaments. Now they're kind of all over the market and if you find a company that has them it's not really hard to tell and they really love to just plaster that they are FDA approved and that some of their spools do fall within the standard. Now you might wonder what this standard is and why some of these filaments have approval and some don't and it really comes down to the basics. If you don't really know a lot about some of the health issues ABS has, you might want to give that a look as that will answer a lot of questions on why FDA approved filament is needed. Now, if you do understand some of that with the micro particles and the dust that comes from extruding, then you should, you should know a good bit about why FDA is needed. And a lot of people think that you can just use PLA filaments since it doesn't have all the harmful chemicals that your ABS may have, but you do have to watch out as some manufacturers do mix different chemicals and have different combinations to give you your higher performance, your higher temperature, or even your stronger properties and colors. And these will mix chemicals that aren't FDA approved as they're not going for that standard, so they're not necessarily looking out for that as it doesn't really cause any health problems just extruding on a normal consumer printer. Now, what makes a filament FDA approved is how it's produced and that can get a little hairy and does require a lot of special jargon on how these filaments are produced and you can also check out FDA.gov for the specific standards on how these are produced, which I would highly recommend if you're interested. It's a really good quick read and it really answers a lot of questions on what you need to start producing flatware and cups. Now, a nice thing about the FDA approved filaments is they are relatively easy to find. Just a quick simple search in your Google bar or check out Maker Geeks or even um, Color Fab as they produce a lot of FDA filaments or their filaments are also FDA approved. Now in doing the research I found that there really is two types of FDA approved filaments. You have your standard filaments which you can find on Color Fab which are FDA approved based on how they're manufactured but this doesn't allow you to put these flatware and cups in your dishwasher as the heat from it will start to warp it and start to ruin your prints 
which kind of throws out the model. Well, I found on sites such as Maker Geeks and with slightly more research is this dishwasher safe filament, meaning you can dis dis dishwash your filament and your flatware and models that you print out of this and not have any problems with the melting or the warping, which is really nice if you want to print something and make it usable and use it over and over again as I have in the past. Now, a nice thing about these is they are relatively easy to print and if you can print ABS you'll have no problem at all printing the FDA approved filaments. But, though them being FDA approved there are some things you still need to watch out for and with most printers not being able to give you a completely smooth, and I'm not talking by the eye smooth, I'm talking microscopically smooth prints that still have micron layer ridges that allows bacteria to get in those and that can cause you to get sick alone just by itself. So if you're in between the fence on spending the extra five, ten bucks to buy the dishwasher safe filament, I would recommend going with that as it's a little easier to get out all the bacteria in the ridges or you can give it a good old hand wash with just standard antibacterial dish soap. Now, there is one way you can get around this, and this is something that the world working community has done for quite a long time with different wood bowls and even cutting boards, is they finish it with either a varnish or even a polyurethane, which are FDA approved, and this takes care of all the ridges and gives you a very nice smooth model. Now, I'll have a video up very shortly on how to polyurethane and finish models like this and I'd highly recommend it over even just going with your standard dishwasher approved as I normally just hand wash these. So having that extra degree of temperature is really just a bonus for me. Now if you have any more questions on how to get your hands on FDA approved filaments I have a couple links down in the bio in the description of this video to Maker Geeks and a couple other sites. I'll even try to put some links down there linked over to the FDA.gov site so you can find out what the standard actually means and understand it for yourself as it is easy to understand if you read it. And it's really not a bunch of jargon that you have to have a special degree or have a special knowledge in. Now, if you've liked this video, please like it. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to comment below. I really do enjoy answering questions or even challenged by some of the questions people ask as it not only helps me, but it helps everybody else and everybody that may have questions regarding this. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. Thank you.